Why don't these bitches get? Good morning, good people. Good morning. <clears throat> Let me just go and start this off so y'all can see what, what's in the title. You already know it's right there. So we about to go ahead and get into it. So um, I told y'all, I said, we're in, a, we're in a new year and we're really not about to keep up with all of this crazy foolishness. I actually got an inbox last night and then I, act, I, I wanted to make sure I got the information correct before I actually went off call myself going off or whatever the case may be so um so y'all just share the video because I, I want y'all to share this with earl carla share this with earl carla because i just i really want to make this very plain and i've said this multiple times i've said this multiple times share this with earl carter because just as i said about juanita uh uh danielle mccoy um sister leticia brown Brian Carnes, everything like that. Listen, uh, what's the other lady name? Uh, Vita Nichols, all of that stuff. Let me tell y'all something. I really don't care how you feel about King. Earl Carter got on, and I thought this was so hilarious. I said, oh, my God. He got on, and he was talking about, you know, I'm a king with a crown on. And I was like, okay, because first he was talking about William McCray. He got on and he was talking and then he was like, I saw Jazz. I know Earl Carter. I know Earl. Okay. Me and my mom used to go to his church. I know Earl. You know, Earl just is, you know. Okay. Let me just say what I got to say before I go there. <sighs> got on saying, you know, he uh, he was portraying a king, but then kind of come to find out he's a Barcelona. He's a Barca, you know, meaning a king. Come to find out he's a Barcelona. And I'm just like. I'm like, really, Earl? <laughs> really? Come on. Come on, Earl. Like, come on. Like, I'm trying to do something different. Y'all want me to come out the box. I'm like, look, first of all, listen. It doesn't matter how you feel because we can we can both go back and forth about these Bible scriptures all day long. All day long. We can go back and forth all day long. You going to feel how you feel. I'm going to feel how I feel. I got my scriptures, not in, in, a, in essence to defend anything, but I got my scriptures to, to, to tell and justify what you talking about and where I'm coming from. And you got your scriptures to come and kill. I, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Y'all listen, I didn't say it before. I'm saying, I'm saying just like that. I didn't say it before. And I'm going to say it again. If I'm going to hell, hello, if I'm going to hell, listen to me real good. If I'm going to hell, I'm going to go to hell at my own account. Not, what's up, Martez? Not at how good you going to send me there. Because nine times out of ten, more times nine, you probably going to be down there too. And I'm just like calling me a Bossalina, Bas calling me a queen. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand. If I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to go to hell for what I do. Okay? I'm going to go to hell at my own account doing doing Demario. Okay? Me and the Lord, we got this. Okay? How about that? So what, what, I want, what I want people to understand, and this ain't, you know, maybe I am ranting and raving. What I want people to understand is the reason why, hey, Erica, the reason why I say the things that I say is because there is no purpose in the church judging anybody because you don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in. Do you understand? I don't care. Let me, let me set this phone down because I need to use my hands. Hold on one second. There is no purpose. I'm, I'm in my bedroom closet. There's too much stuff in here. There is no purpose. There is no purpose in you being upset with somebody because they, and then, this is the dumb part. See, one of, one of my church members said this so good. 
Listen, one of my church members said this so good years ago. We we was in uh, we used to go to church together in Florida. She said, you so smart, you stupid. First of all, you cannot call a homosexual a pedophile. Two different things. Oh. Woo, Jesus Christ. You cannot call a homosexual a pedophile. I don't care how much you don't like these particular people or culture or whatever the case may be. You cannot call somebody a pedophile. If you're gay, you're gay. You're not a pedophile. Like, hey, Alicia, baby. You oh, my God. First of all, let me tell you something. And reprobate mind, Jody, hey, baby. Reprobate mind. Let's really talk about a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind. Let's talk about that scripture. A reprobate mind. The Bible says, I'll turn them over to their own lust. So first of all, let's really talk about and break that scripture down. Okay? The Lord was going to make them crazy, pretty much. In, in, in essence, what it's talking about. He's going to make them crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm in my right mind. I'm sane. I got all the activities of my limbs. And you know what? The day that God chooses to come get me. Hello, somebody. The day that God chooses to come get me, he's going to do that. And I'm going to stand before him and be judged. If I have to stand before him. Okay? Let's, let's, let's really talk about this stuff. Everybody want to talk about like they like they got a monopoly on heaven. Heaven must be like this. It must be like this. But I know heaven must be like this. It must be. Baby, do you know what heaven's like? Have you gone there? All you got is books, scriptures, and everything like this. So I'm going to tell you like this. My nigga, if I am going to hell, I'm going to hell at my own account because if I'm going to hell, hear me, if I'm going to hell and if, if, if that's opposite of where y'all supposed to be going, I don't want to go to heaven with y'all. I'm going to say that one more time. If I'm going to hell and y'all going to heaven, yep, I said heaven, H-E-A. M E N him. If y'all going to heaven and I'm going to hell, I don't want to go because I don't want to be in heaven with backbiters, liars, stealers, cheaters, whole mongers, and all kind of stuff like that. You don't like your brother or your sister, or anything like that. You sit up here stealing and cheating and and got a whole bunch of crazy stuff on, but you want to sit up here and point your fingers at somebody else. I'll take hell for three hundred, Alex. I'll take hell for three hundred. Honey, I mean, I mean, I guess after a while, the burden, I ain't going to feel it no more because it'd be like, okay, oh, okay, whatever, you know, but I'd rather be they, I'd rather be in hell than in heaven. And I got to sit up here and constantly deal with what I'm sitting up here dealing with on earth. Some of them are like, well, I don't want to go to hell. Hell no. Hell no. No, I'm dead serious. I'm, I'm dead serious. Dead serious. Mm -mm. I don't want to be up there with the gays and they just as confused. Cause they want to sit up here and they want to, they want to be gay, but then they don't want to be gay. They think they're going to go to hell because of, because the preacher said so. Look, have it. Hey, Yolanda, have it, have it. So anyways, Bishop Earl, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm just, I'm really not. I love you. God knows I do. I respect you. I, I did say, you know, this is a whole new year and we're going on from there. People that have an issue, listen to me really good. People that have an issue with myself, people that have an issue with homosexual men and women, that's your that's your own that's your own problem. Ain't nobody tell you to hate that individual. Well, I don't hate them. I hate the sin. What? I'm so tired of that line. I'm so tired of that line. Do you hear me? I'm tired of that line. I. I don't hate the person. I hate the sin. So that lie. Mm, let me help you. That lie. Mm, let me help you out with that lie. So, okay. So for y'all who just not coming in. So around about 36 minutes in Earl Carter's video, I should. And he said, there's overwhelming evidence that a certain mental disorder occurs 
with much higher frequency among homosexuals. Their minds are not right. God give you over to that, reprobated mind. For example, 40% of homosexual men have a history of major depression. That's the, that is the punishment that compares to only 3% of men in general. And, and in a similar uh, way, 37% of female homosexuals have a history of depression. This leads to uh, a heightened suicide rate. Homosexuals are three times as likely to con contemplate suicide as the general population. In fact, homosexual men have an, have an attempted or have attempted suicide, all right? Let's say the rate is six times that of heterosexuals. It's not natural to be a homosexual. Uh, homosexual women attempt suicide twice as often as heterosexual women. Uh, and nor are depression and suicide the only problem. That's not the only problem. Study shows that the homosexuals are much more likely to be pedophiles. Mm. Pedophiles more than heterosexual men. That's why I call certain people uh, pedophile. All right? And uh, whatever the causes of these disorders, the fact remains that anyone contemplating a homosexual lifestyle should have no illusion about what he's getting into. You hear me uh, when you talk about uh, Jive. I thought he was, a, he was wearing a king's crown which means Bossa, uh, Bossalino. That means the king, Bossalino. And come to find out, Bossalino turned into Bossalissa. That's the queen. So Jive used to uh, portray himself as a king. Now we find out he's a queen. He said he tried homosexuality, and he said he liked it. So he's out. But I want you to know, Jive, you're going to hell. And you're worthy of death. Anybody, from Romans 1, anybody practice such, and anybody that approve of such is worthy of death. So if you give yourself to rebelling against God, a cruel messenger will be sent. God will send an assassin to come get you when he gets ready. That's what happened to the Pulse uh, nightclub here in Orlando. He sent a cruel messenger and wiped out 49 people. All right? And uh, so you better watch it because you could die anytime. Then he'll send a messenger like this. Watch. Put it up, you know. It's like this, right? I don't care how many Bible scriptures you know. He said, he said to me, well, he said about me, he, and he said this. He said, you know, uh, King Jives, Bishop knows I was a church member of his. He said King Jives was a bossa. He, he was portrayed as a bossa. And I'm like, you know, my nigga, yes. You know, hold on, let me go grab one. Hold on one second. Let me go and get this red one out this closet real quick. You know, I am a king, okay? Whatever. Baby, I should have worn my crown last night when I went to the movie theaters. Because, baby, we was in there strong. Strong. <laughs> I ain't even done with this one. Hold on. Wait a minute. Baby, I need to just. What? Hold on. Baby, I should have just. I should have wore this mug. I should have wore this mug to the movie theaters last night, okay? I should have worn He said. King King Jazz got the crown on. He's supposed to be a bossa, but he's a he's a bossa bossalina bossa some some the man said. And I was like, I'm like, Earl, come on now, Earl. I'm like, first of all, you didn't came for Matthew Stevenson. You didn't came for Matthew Stevenson. And then you know you didn't call Matthew Stevenson Mathalina outfit. You know what I feel like saying when I see your outfit? Thank God! Sissy! You hear me, Matthew? Matheline? And the Church of God in Christ shouldn't... That man had like dung in his hair. And you got some young boys that's going to go home and they're going to start dressing like this sissy looking fella. And he got nerve. Let me tell you something. Oh my God. Listen. Listen. Oh, I'm waking up now. I'm waking up now. Listen. You got to be a model, man. You got to be a model. And I'm trying to understand why. Why, y'all? Why? 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 I just... Y'all help me out. Help help me out. Like, we got so much chaos and confusion going on, confusement going on in the church. I'm just like, why? 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 Why I got to be a Barcelona? Why? Well, first of all, are you sure that I'm going to be turned over to a reprobate mind? Because I still got all my, my, uh, 
I got all my uh my minds. Okay. I got all my minds. See, y'all gonna have to go somewhere with this mess. I didn't told y'all. Like, I'm not, I'm really, I'm really not, I'm not here for this stuff right here. I'm grown. Anybody who knows me understand this or understand this right here. I I was upset with a lot of things for a long time. But being upset with people and things, baby, ain't gonna help you get your money. At the end of the day, you gotta you gotta collect your coins. Huh? At the end of the day, baby, you got to get your money. Okay? And I, I, I thought about that thing. I thought about it for a minute. Baby, let me tell you something. Who roasted Juanita was me. Okay? Who roasted was me. Baby, I dragged the heck out of her. Yes, I did. I ain't going to even lie. That day, baby, all of them, I dragged them. And I, I didn't care. Because that's what I was on at the time. It was. That's what I was on at the time. And you know what? I look back at it now and I'm like, well, dang, you know, I could have been doing something else. But like I said, don't 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 think that I'm a punk though. Don't think I'm a punk and I'm not gonna retaliate and say something back to you. Baby, it got so bad, baby. I was looking at pistols. Can I can we just be honest? Cause you talking about you gonna come do something to me, baby. I'm like Cardi B, you gonna do what to who? What? Say what now? Oh, you gonna come put your hands on me? You gonna come you gonna come put your hands on me? Baby, you gonna do what to who? Baby, you gonna get these hands and a good pistol. A nine or forty or something. Don't you think? See, that's what I'm saying. So I had to ask God to help me. Mm hmm And see, in asking the Lord to help me, I couldn't sit up here and be like, Lord, help me. No, I had to make a change. I had to make a conscious effort to make a change for the better. I don't want to be out here still bumping my gums about William McCray, Andrew Carwell, Juanita, Daniel McCoy, Letitia, Brian Carnes, all the rest of these folks, Jamal Brown. I'm serious. Oh, Lord, and slipped already early in the morning. I don't care. I really don't care. Listen, these individuals, listen, whether it, whether they raping folks in the church, whether they stealing folks' money, whether the pastor got a Bentley, I don't care. Listen, you get yours, and I'm going to get mine, okay? You get yours, I'm going to get mine. Earl Carter, you know, he didn't say what he needed to say about me and whatever, you know what I'm saying? He, that's, he just being Earl, okay? He just being Earl. Earl's been this way since I've known him, since I've been a little kid. Earl, Earl Carter, Elder Earl, Elder Earl, Elder Earl has been this way since I've known him. I mean, just, just dead serious. Call them con conduits and, and, and liver lifted, big lip men. And you, you out here, you a sassy. That's Earl. That's Earl. Ain't nothing going to change. That's Earl. You know, I'm not, I'm not asking Earl to personally um, agree with me. I'm not asking Bishop Earl, uh, Reverend Earl, to, to like me per se. I ain't got no problem. I really don't. I'm serious. I don't have a problem with Bishop Earl. Do you hear me? I don't. I, I love you at the end of the day. And that will never change. You can call me a queen, honey. Let me tell you something. Call me a queen, all this other stuff all day long. I don't care. I, I ain't going to lie. I don't care. I really don't. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm still going to be out here doing what I got to do for me, to take care of me, to live for me, to love me, to love those who love me. That's what I'm saying. Johnny, that's what I'm saying. He was just on my show and I was like, so it ain't like you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh, I know your wife, Beverly. I know your son. And your daughter, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I know your family. So I'm like, well, my family went to your church and endured the preaching. <laughs> Just saying. So it ain't like, it's not like, and then you was like, you don't have a problem with people in that quote unquote lifestyle, whatever. You know, you just got to preach the Bible. I mean, okay, cool. You know, no, don't nobody have an issue. My, my only thing, my thing is this right here. King, hmm, King, yes, King, King Jives, yes. So for all, the, and, and the main ones that really got something crazy to say is all the church girls. All the church girls, baby, I'm a queen of them. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. Well, let me let, let, me let you faggots know one thing. You don't pay one 
you don't, ooh, you don't pay one bill. You don't. And I appreciate you all. And I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you all for watching, for inboxing these videos and my posts and sharing them and, and writing on my pictures and, and, and putting little things on the pictures, talking about I got a dick in my mouth and all this other stuff. Let me tell you something. I ain't had yours in my mouth. Ah! Come on here, somebody. Come on. You had about three, four in yours. I'm, I'm not. I'm really not here for that. I'm really not. <sighs> Let me woo side. Let me woo side. You know all the air I'm trying, I'm trying, baby, I'm trying. Listen, I'm, I'm just not here for it. Can, I'm like Martin. Can we all? No, that was Rodney King. Can we all? Can we all just get along? I'ma do me. I'm, I'ma do me, and I'ma let you do you. Okay. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do me and I'm going to let you do you. Matter of fact, I'm like, um, hi. <laughs> I'm like Kaya. I'm like Kaya. There's a hater on the line. About to pop the one more time. Next caller. <laughs> Next case. Okay. Next. Hey, mama. Next caller. Next case. Okay. Next case. All right. So. Let me tell you, after this video, I'm just going to let you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a whole bunch of folks coming for King. It is what it is. And the only thing you got to say is, oh, you talking about the past. That's cool. I mean, you talking about my auntie didn't kill somebody. Well, I mean, that's been proven wrong. I mean, that was a hung jury. We got that out the way. Eh. Next case, your folks are stealing. Um, okay, well, they in court fighting for that. And next case, next caller. Um, Mari, you gay, you going to hell. Ah, next case. Ah, next caller. What else are we gonna talk about? We already discussed that. We already discussed that. Baby, if I'm going, I'm going at my own account. You can't put me that no faster. Like, damn. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. About to get country, ghetto, and proper all at the same time. Jeez. If I'm going, if, if. If I'm going, I'm going at my own account. Auntie used to sing it all the time. Martez, Erica, whoever, oh, where my old school Kojic, where my old school Kojic folks at? If I fail to live it and my soul be lost, nobody's fault but my own. Okay, that's what I'm saying. My mom went uh when um when the girl she was doing little videos about my mom. My mama said, "Who is this? Who is this?" I said, Mama, I said, don't even worry about it. She said, I ain't worried about it. But then she sent me a screenshot of one and she said, but um, don't, don't want you to get some, some mug shots too? Huh? Huh? You know, it's just like, hey, y'all, listen, again, let's go back old school. Let's let, let each of us work at our own soul salvation. Baby, if I fail to live it and my soul be lost. Nobody's fault but my own. Nobody's fault but my own. Nobody's fault but my own. If I fail to live it and my soul be lost, nobody's fault but baby. If I fail to live it, this is you. This is you understand. If I fail to live it, this this go all out to all the little faggots out here. This hello, y'all talking Mario. You going to hell? Okay. If we fail to live it, you know. Because it, it's amazing in church, nobody preaches or teaches discipline, order, and structure. You going to hell, but you going to hell because you out here committing adultery and, and fornication. And you out here sliding on all the poles and bouncing on all the dicks and, and taking all the, 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 the meat sticks and Karen's on. The, listen, listen, you can't get order and structure from a pastor that don't live order and structure. I can't, I can't get no help up in here. I can't get no help up in here, up in here. Listen, you can't get order and structure from a pastor who don't live order and structure. Huh? What? Hmm? Okay. So I'm out here teaching the people, you know, in the words that one white man, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give you eternal life here. <laughs> Ah, yes, Lord. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to give you eternal life here. Listen, you cannot get, you cannot get order, 
order, structure, and discipline from a pastor that does not live discipline, order, and structure. It don't work. Honey, if you want to live a raggedy life and preach to me about the fundamentals of getting to heaven and living right, honey, it don't. that's apples and oranges, boo-boo. Apples and oranges. And I'm not saying this about Earl Carter. I'm just saying, you want, see, the, the, the gays want to sit up here and talk about they going to hell. Well, baby, you might just be going to hell because your pastor is teaching you something that he's living. He's living whoredom. Okay? Hello? Hello? There's a hate on the line about the... Part one more time, next caller, bitch. Next caller, next caller. Next caller. As a matter of fact, where is this song at? Hold on. Kaya, I'm finna play your song, baby. Hold on, I'm finna play your song. I'm finna play your song. Next caller, uh, uh. Next call, uh-huh. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. You cannot expect to get anything different. Hold on, where is that? There we go. Listen, you cannot get anything different from people that don't live no type of way. So therefore, like I said, I got the video. I saw the video with you know where Earl Carter said all this other stuff. And I said all that to say, y'all, you can't be bothered. You can't be bothered because they're going to say what they want to say, do what they want to do. But again, you, you preach hate. Hey. Listen, you cannot expect to get anything different from people. Hey. Listen, you can't expect to get anything different from people when they don't want nothing. All they want to do is preach. Y'all, I'm, I'm just I'm about to get so crunk this morning, and I'm trying to pack right now so I can get on this road. But let me tell you something. At, I, at some point in your life, you got to just see folks and keep it moving. Honey, let them say what they got to say and move it around. Honey, you go, you going to hell, Mario. Oh, God bless you. I might see you there, motherfucker. Woo! Yes, God, I might see you there. Yeah, Lord, I might see you there. I'll save you a seat, okay? Because I'm going to tell you what, if heaven is like this, I'll go to hell. <laughs> Baby, if, if heaven, huh? If heaven, ah. Uh, Listen, <laughs> come on, Erica. Let me tell you something. I'm going to call you when I get off. Let me tell you something. If heaven is like this and all y'all Christian folks talking about you going to hell, you going to hell. Woo. Next caller. Bitch. Woo. Baby, let me tell you something. Baby, I'm on next call. You hear me? I'm on next call. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you something. I'm on next caller. You hear me? I'm on next caller. If heaven is like this, come and listen to you while I'm riding down the road because you got me in that mode right now. Woo! Let me tell you something. Ooh, I feel. I done worked up. I done been to the gym already. Let me tell you something. If heaven is like this, and all we're doing is bumping our gums about each other and everything like that, I'll go to hell, okay? I will go. I don't want to go nowhere where there's a bunch of hate, animosity. Baby, you so busy, got your nose in the book, you can't enjoy life. Do you hear me? Tell me I'm serious, like seriously. If heaven is like this on this earth, hmm? Y'all I'm going up to the... Uh, the, to, to, the, to the heavenless. I'm going on up yonder. You going on up to heaven and all y'all do is hate, bicker. You got so much hate and, and venomous stuff in your heart and you talking about, oh, heaven must be like this. 
It must be like this. Ba da 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 da. Heaven. Oh. Heaven must be like this. It must. Baby, if heaven is like this, shh, I go to hell. I'm serious. I'm, I'm so serious with you. I'm so serious. Hello. Good morning. Listen, I'm so serious. Baby, I will sit up. I will do the Kang Wayne with it. Baby, I'll do the Crip Rock right on. God, do you love me? Oh, I love you too. I'm a crip walk. Why don't right on down that hill? You hear me? Babe, I'm a crip walk. Right on down there, okay? Cause I don't want to be up there with these mofos. Honey, you talking about heaven must be like this? I don't want to be up. I don't want. Do you want to go to hell? Maybe hell yeah. Do you want to go to hell? Hell yeah, because it might be the opposite. Y'all might get to heaven and be up there with all the rest of the foolishness. I don't want it. King don't want it. Do you hear me? King don't want it. I will be the queen. You hear me? I will be the queen. Good morning, uh, Robert. Huh? Do you hear me? I will wear my kingly crown well, and I will be a bossa, and maybe to you, I'll be a bossalina. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm not. I'm not. Huh? I'm not about to sit up here and keep kissing folks behind just for what? Just for what? Whew, Erica, let me tell you something. Chanel, I'm trying to tell you, at the end of the day, y'all, I'm serious. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I really do. And I'm going to tell you something. If you ask uh, Mama Raj, Chanel, baby, I've, 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 in, in short, just a little short time, because y'all know I wasn't cussing out here, but, you know, I will cuss you all the way out. And you can catch these hands. But I decided to do something different because I don't want to live my life like that. People actually do like me. What? Come through. Who? Oh, people actually like me. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. People actually like me. <laughs> people actually like me. So it's like, you know, I don't want to keep giving people, you know, BS, you know what I'm saying? People got tired of me talking about Juanita. People got tired of me talking about these little flunky bees. People got tired of me talking about Brian Carr. Let me talk about me. That's what I want to talk about. Let me talk about life. Honey, we're going to live life. That's what we're going to live. We're going to live life. Honey, I want y'all to listen. Come outside of the church walls. Get up off your knees because some of y'all ain't on your knees praying. you down there sucking dick and licking coochie. Listen here. Get up off your knees. Book you a trip. Go to the islands. Go, go. Matter of fact, go to Paris and not Paris, Georgia. Go to Paris and go to Paris, Georgia. Baby, breathe in the good, fresh air of the Lord. Breathe in and breathe out. Do you hear me? <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Baby, I'm talking about like eight inhale and exhale. Baby, inhale the air and exhale out. Exhale out all the toxins. Do you hear me, Chanel? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Listen, if, if we're going to live on a world and matter of fact, let me rewind this back because I need to be on this song. <laughs> Vance, listen, if we're going to live on this earth and y'all talking about I'm going to heaven and I'm going to see my mother there. Hold on. I can't do it with this. And I'm going to see my mother there. And, 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 and I'm going to see my father. If your mother and your father was full of the shh, I don't want to be up there with them. Okay. I'm telling y'all get outside of the four walls of the church and enjoy life. Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. Okay? So life has nothing to do with you. Woo! 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 Baby, it ain't got nothing to do with that. It ain't got nothing to do with that. What you need to do is get outside the four walls. Get outside the four walls and live. Honey, all y'all do is go to church all the time. You, you, you mean, you hateful, you blind, you cantankerous, and you eating pork. And you getting diabetes, and you getting diabeticals, and carrying on. Baby, listen, I'm going to shout and dance. I'm, I'm going to shout and dance on the beach. Hello. Baby, I'm going to have sand between my toes. You hear me? Honey, let me tell you something. I went, I went to the movies last night. Woo! 
Honey, I was so excited to get to the movies and see Black Panther. Let me tell you, baby, if that movie didn't bless my heart, woo, a higher. Yes, God. Woo, shy. That movie blessed my soul. Do you hear me? Whatever, Chanel. You eat pork. We'll, I ain't going to say you're going to have beaties. I'm going to leave that alone. Listen, I, am, I went to the movies last night and I lived. I lived, y'all. I lived. Baby, I sat on about the fourth row from the front screen because I was a little late. I looked up, baby, I saw all these beautiful black people on the video movie screen, and I was almost in tears. I felt a good because I was looking at all this beautifulness on the screen. <sighs> hey, 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 hey. I was, I was like, oh, look at it. Oh, they just saw, baby, Angela Bassett was looking so fine. Whoo. Baby, what, what, Boozman, I was like, baby, he's so fine. Oh, Lord. Michael Jordan, Lord, these, all these beautiful people. What the, the little, the, the little, the little, um, uh, African girls, like, y'all just so beautiful. I just look at you, look at you looking like that. Look at you looking like that. Look at you looking like that. Yeah, I enjoyed myself last night. I actually did. <laughs> Honey, I was looking at the video screen. I said, Lord, they could have put me in here, baby. I could have worn my red or blue or purple crown. I, baby, I would have just gave this screen a little light, but y'all just so sexy on here. Look at these bodies and things. Baby, I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. Man, I, listen, I paid almost twenty dollars. I paid almost twenty dollars for my ticket. I got there a day early just so I can see this beautiful movie. I am going. I'm telling y'all. Listen, hear me. I want y'all while y'all sitting up here talking about folks going to hell and everything like that. Uh, Bishop Earl, let me tell you something. Go live. You've been in church your entire life. Go live. Go live. Y'all mad at me because I talked about the Jesus story and everything, how things don't match. Baby, Jesus said, go live. Go live. Go live. Baby, you know more scriptures, but you don't know about life. You don't even love your wife because the church has taught you, taught you to stick your face in the Bible and nothing about living. Live. Do you hear me? Oh, oh. Where my preacher rag at? Oh, uh, go live. Go live, okay? Get these eyebrows right. Go live. When you live a little, you stress about things less. When you live, go live. Enjoy life. Baby, matter of fact, you know what? Let me show, let me let me do something. Wait a minute. Cause I know somebody y'all, some of y'all gonna say, um, Maria, we live in church and we live in God. And that's all we need. We, as long as I got King Jairus, I don't need nobody else. Long as I got King Jairus, I don't need no. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what you need to do. Babe, go grab your bottle and sip slow. Grab your bottle and sip slow. Do you hear me? Sip slow and, en and enjoy the wonderfulness of the tasty flavors. Had to go in my garbage because that was in my garbage. Enjoy the flavors and the aroma. Baby, grab you a glass. Let me do it one more time for y'all. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Baby, go grab your glass and sip slow. Just. <sighs> Boy, just, in, just enjoy the taste in your mouth. See, the Bible say, the Bible say, that the wine is good for the stomach's sake. It didn't say it was wrong. He said, don't be drunk. Why he said don't be drunk? Because you make irrational decisions when you're drunk. Uh, Stacy, come on, Stella. Huh? Baby, enjoy life, okay? Enjoy life. When you enjoy life, you care about the rest of this BS less. 
You feel me? You care about the rest. Baby, listen, I get on my knees and I say my prayers. I do my little one, two, one, two, you know, my kumbaya and everything and ching, ching. And I, I get on my knees and I talk to the Lord. Baby, I'm not going to sit up here and do all this. I'm not going to be stressed about what Earl Carter said. I got on here because I thought that was funny. I was like, Lord, I said, even Earl Carter calling me a queen. I said, Lord, Jesus. I, I, and then, you know, I had to do y'all. I said, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I said, wait. I said, let me check. Let me check. Let me. It's still there. <laughs> wait. Mm, okay. I said, it's still there. All right. I know I ain't no queen. All right, I know what's to do. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Praise his holy name. Listen here. <laughs> Listen. Listen, praise his wonderful name. Listen, I, I'm just saying, y'all, get outside the church and enjoy life. Enjoy life. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck on the fickle, retarded stuff, okay? Don't get stuck. Because y'all up here arguing about who going to heaven and hell and who going to do this. And the Bible say this. Baby, the Bible also say live. The Bible say live. Y'all, I want you to live and have some discipline, order, and structure in your life. There is nothing wrong with enjoying life, but know how to be disciplined. The reason why a lot of these faggots dying so fast is because they ain't got no discipline, order, and structure. All they want to do is bust a nut. And it's the same way with the straight folks. They want to bust a nut. And I'm going to tell you something. Busting a nut feels great. Do you hear me? Don't let nobody ever tell you that it's wrong. It feels great. You hear me? Now tell the truth on that one. Any of y'all say, folks, how do you know you get the pew? You be like, whoo, father, yay, God. Let me tell you, I'm serious. Like, don't, don't ever let nobody tell you that enjoying life is wrong because it's not. It's, it's not. You just need to know how. You need to. <laughs> you need to know how to enjoy life. And live. And live, baby. Just live. And on that note, I'm out. Bye. Hey there, I'm Demario Giles. How are you doing? Thank you so much for considering DiMaggio Graphics and Media Production. We are your one-stop shop for your graphic and your print needs. Hey, listen. We do specialize in funeral programs. Matter of fact, we do a lot of graphic. We do, we do all sorts of things. Anniversary, church anniversaries, business um events, business, picnics, barbecues, all kind of things like that. We do graphics for everything. But anyways, we do specialize in funeral programs. Memorabilia that's going to be around for a very long time and that's going to last when your loved one has left this side and transitioned to the other side. From myself, Demario Jives, and the staff of Demagio Graphics Media Production, I just want to say thank you so much for considering us. And you can also visit us on the World Wide Web at www.demagio.com. That's D-E-M-A-J-I-O.com. And also, you can look us up online on Facebook, on any social media site, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. Look us up. We will greatly be there for you in the time of your need. Thank you again for considering us, and we look forward to serving you.